Again, it's a, a pleasure to be here to uh, actually launch, uh, officially launch, and do up a uh, app, a new app design to meet the needs of small businesses in Fiji, and particularly uh, women-led businesses. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I believe that every woman should have uh, financial independence because money in the hands of a woman changes everything, her family and her community. And at the outset, I want to thank the Australian government, uh, Department for Foreign Affairs and Trade, FinTech Pacific, YGAP, Westpac and MasterCard for building tomorrow, to, for building that tomorrow we want for women in MSMEs uh, in Fiji. In Fiji, small businesses form the backbone of our economy. And your government is committed to continuing to support these businesses, especially women-led businesses, because we recognize the unique set of challenges shouldered by women entrepreneurs. These are the same women who possess immense potential to drive innovation and foster economic growth. In fact, it is pleasing to see the collaboration of different agencies led by the private sector and donor partners in this regard. And as a strong believer of trusting our private sector, partly because I was there for 33 years, to unlock innovative solutions, today is an example of just that. When we have an integrated approach that is functional, we effort, effort, effortlessly reap the benefits in a very short time frame. That is why we are working on mapping and strengthening the network of MSMEs in Fiji. I have just returned from New York, where I shared Fiji's vision and commitment to empower gender equality at the SDG Action Weekend 2023 an event which gathered senior representatives, high-level speakers from Asia and across the Pacific showcasing innovations and collaborations of different stakeholders in scaling up the gender lens, financing for all SDGs. And today's launch supports the vision and commitment that I shared at that event. MSMEs play a vital role in any economy and integrating them into the formal sector of the economy through mediums such as NDUAPAY gives confidence to their contribution to our GDP, ensuring they are better accounted for when accurately, accurately assessing economic growth. When MSMEs have a formal presence, they are able to establish a credit history, making it easier to secure loans to invest and expand their businesses. So I thank the project partners of Nduape for giving confidence to our women-led MSMEs in this space. Overall, today is, is the start for women-led MSMEs to maintain a level playing field in the market, be part of the formal economy, and adhere to quality and standards compliance. To the MSMEs representatives here today, your government is here to support you in your endeavor and to help make informed decisions. Please remember that the doors of our ministry are always open and your suggestions about economic policies and strategies that will foster a sustainable MSME business environment and network is always welcome. Accepting and ad adapting to the digital age is essential for individuals, businesses and societies as a whole. It's not just about using technology, but about using it wisely and responsibly to increase efficiency, connectivity, and opportunities for growth and innovation. I am told that uh, the DuoPay app can simply be downloaded on Google Play Store. I was actually trying it this morning, uh, but I'm told that it will be uh, sort of enabled soon. Enabling smartphones to accept MasterCard and Visa, tap and go payments. Most importantly, the Nduo app goes beyond this functionality. It embodies the spirit of empowerment, inclusion, and collaboration. Overall, 
by strengthening women-led businesses, we uplift communities, foster gender equality, and drive sustainable economic growth. Collectively, contactless payments have become increasingly important as it offers convenience to customers and helps streamline payment processes. If anything, this is a real game changer for MSMEs in enhancing the overall customer experience. So I encourage you as business owners to stay adaptable and responsive to the ever-evolving payment trend to remain competitive in the market. As we indulge more in the digital space, obviously as you've been seeing in the last few weeks, uh, the increase or emergence of cyber criminals and scammers who try and gain an unauthorized advantage to financial information, posing greater threat to our financial security. Always, uh, as a tip from uh, your government, please always be vigilant and have the presence of mind uh, to be watchful when conducting financial transactions online and be on the lookout for any red flags and notify your financial institution immediately should you identify any anomalies, and that includes the Consumer Council and FCCC. Right now we have an interagency task force that's actually just um, coming together uh, to try and um, address this issue uh, that's become quite prevalent in uh, Fiji. Uh, we expect it will uh, continue to be a challenge, but uh, what is required of government is to perhaps we look at legislation to ensure that customers are protected as well as uh, service providers going forward. While sharing my vision statement uh, in uh, New York last week, I spoke about the importance of uh, financial and gender inclusion, as I have mentioned, as two important aspects of creating a more equitable and inclusive society. They both aim to ensure that all individuals regardless of their gender or financial status, have equal access to economic opportunities, financial services, and resources. To a greater part, it takes all of us gathered here today to work together to create inclusive, uh, an inclusive financial ecosystem, which can lead to improved economic stability and social development, and the project partners from Ruepe are an epitome of what partnership can truly achieve. Coming back to today's event, as a group of individuals and champions for MSME of the MSME network, we will continue to establish and promote strategies to support sustainable economic growth for MSMEs in Fiji. Whether it is in an area of access to finance, capacity building, introducing green technologies, market access, creating sustainable supply chains, or education and awareness, we remain at your disposal to be part of this multifaceted approach. In closing, I'd like to thank the Australian government once again, DFAT, FinTech Pacific, YGAP, Westpac, and MasterCard for contributing to the long-term long success and re re resilience for women-led MSMEs in Fiji. Please make this time, uh, use this time to network, and let's continue to have great conversations in making uh, or, or, or taking the MSME network to great heights.